Prosecutors in the Terry Thompson murder trial were expected to rest today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Matt Doherty is at the courthouse. Matt, who did the jury hear from today? Well, they heard from a doctor today, Lynn, and he said chokeholds carry with them a substantial risk of death. He said if done correctly, somebody can be unconscious in less than six seconds. Defense attorneys played videos during cross-examination today. One is a news report, the other a demo video showing law enforcement officers learning how to perform a lateral vascular neck restraint, also called a chokehold or sleeper hold. It's a technique prosecutors say was used by defendant Terry Thompson last year outside of the Denny's in East Harris County when he rendered 24-year-old John Hernandez brain dead. Thompson allegedly maintained a chokehold for more than 15 minutes. Thompson is chaperoned by a deputy constable anytime he leaves court, passing within feet of the victim's father today, who stares him down as he walks the hall. As you can see uh, today, uh, Mother Hernandez was not able to be inside most of the most of the time because of the videos that they're showing. So um, father's holding up strong and so are the rest of the family and they're just staying positive. Strangulation expert Dr. William Smock testified for most of the day. Prosecutors flew him in from Kentucky to consult on the case and testify. His contributions to the case aren't cheap, costing the county about $300 an hour plus travel expenses. The Hernandez family says they're ready to see this case be finished, even if it means Thompson is convicted of a charge less than murder. Of course, I wouldn't feel, you know, happy about a lesser charge uh, because what happened to his son um, could be happening to somebody else and he should not be walking free in the streets. You know, every day here, Lynn, at the trial, we try to look for somebody to talk to us from either side, but so far, only supporters and family members of John Hernandez have been willing to talk with us on the record. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you for the update.